Hi, I'm Becky Blake with Coro Health, Chief HR Officer. Why is employee engagement important for our company to succeed? I think that this is the easiest question I get to answer. It is quite simply because without our employees, we don't exist. Our employees are why we are successful. It is why our clients are, are happy with what we produce. Um, and we know that having an engaged employee who believes in what we do, believes in why we do it, and believes in our company is going to always be an employee that is engaged and, and usually makes better results for our clients. What unique strategies did our company follow to ensure retention and engagement of employees? Uh, I think there are two things with this. The first one is making sure that your approaches are agile. What will help with retention can be very different today than what it was six months ago or what it was a year ago. So really making sure that you're paying attention to what your competitors are doing, understanding that, and then making sure you have a strategy with that. The other sec second area is something that we are leaning into, and it is the idea of having fun. People that are smiling, people that are laughing, are much more likely to create better results because they're enjoying what they're doing. They're enjoying the workplace. They look forward to coming to the workplace. So we do this from ha the other thing that we really have focused on with our strategy of having fun is that our team members drive it. Our team members are the ones who come up with a different program, the different activities that we do in our office locations, because we want to make sure that what we do, our employees are motivated by and are having a good time from. And we all know that fun can be a little bit different based on the individual. So this way we're able to try a lot of different things. What are some key ways to drive a successful organizational culture? I think it comes down to two main things. One, having values that guide your culture and making sure those values are truly aligned to the company that you are and your executive leadership truly believe in them. The second is ensuring that your middle management knows that they own their own culture. Again, yes, we can have guidelines and values that we set up and we talk about and we say this is who we are as a company this is who we want to be but it's really up to our supervisors our managers our directors to make sure our employees are feeling that so working very closely with our middle management on why we have these values what does that mean and how can you as a leader really take that to your team so being pretty prescriptive about it and understanding that they know that they own our culture. With more Gen Z entering the workforce, what are some critical changes your organization is bringing about? I think it's a combination of Gen Z entering the workforce and a combination of the, and the end of the pandemic. It is focused on two items flexibility and individuality. Individuality is understanding the whole self, no longer thinking one size fits all. Um, if I do one thing with one person, I must do it for everyone else. And understanding it's okay to treat people a little bit different because everyone is different. Still have the same expectations, but how you get to those expectations can be different because you understand that person. You understand what motivates them, why they get up every day and come to work. And once you understand the, their motivation, you can then understand what are the strategies to make sure that they're still enjoying their job here with Coral Health. What do I consider my biggest achievement? Hands down, it has to be being a mother to four amazing children. It is, that is my motivation, right? It's why I, I get up and I come to work because I wanna make a difference in today's world and setting it up to be a great place for our kids. What message would you love like to give to young HR professionals? I think it's two things. The first one is a very tactical piece. It is 
make sure you understand the business. Whether you are just starting to get into HR um, or whether you've been there for a long time, understand the company you work for and understand their business. If you know their business and can go toe to toe with the managers, directors, executives, then you're going to be able to create solutions around human capital that aim towards better results for the business. The second piece of it is enjoy the ride. I think that HR is just on the cusp of really transforming into a proven business partner. We have moved away from being seen as more of the administrative support and into the forefront over the last few years on how imperative it is to understand your human capital and understanding your team to create great results. What do I think about the initiatives and approaches of We Matter? I, I really think it's exciting what We Matter is doing Try by leaning into human capital, making sure people understand that that is a, a third of the, the company's initiatives, if not more, because you can't have the others without it. Um, but really leaning into this is the place that so many companies forget about paying attention to or sometimes forget about investing in. So really like that, along with being paired with the predictive analysis that tries to understand when retention issues could become and that way you're proactively starting to solve that. What are three you three words that I would utilize to describe We Matter and its work? The three I would use are needed, innovative, and collaborative. Needed, I think something like this is absolutely needed in the in the world today. Second one would be innovative really pairing that predictive analysis with employee engagement uh, will be proven to be extremely successful and help a lot of companies out. And then the third, collaborative. Um, because you get feedback from the employees, because you're looking at the whole spectrum, it's a very collaborative approach versus just one area. Thank you so much for your time.